So the rumors have been flying for two or three weeks now about uh, Marco Lazetic's move to AC Milan. It's, it is final. Truth be told, rumors have been going on for six or seven months now, ever since he pretty much made his first start for Red Star Belgrade, since the first time he had featured uh, that, you know, AC Milan and then some other teams, I can't remember right now, but that they were already interested in his services. And he leaves with less than 20 matches played for Red Star uh, as he is off to his new journey in Italy. Um, it's around 4 million euros with a bunch of bonuses uh, being slapped onto the player. 10% uh, of next uh, sale will also go to Red Star or I believe AC Milan can buy out that 10% for 500,000 euros. Uh, so then they don't have to worry about it. And, you know, if he's worth 100 million down the road, uh, that 10% won't mean anything and none of it will go to Red Star as far as I understand. Uh, Michael Lazatich as a player, I don't want to... I don't want to kind of boost him too much, but he does have... Because he's only like 18, 19 years old. Uh, 18. Because um, he has some big shoes to fill, but he has some Vlahovic characteristics. Uh, he's got the size. He's got really good pace for a player of his height. Um score goals at the U21 level and also played for Grafičar, who is uh, Red Star's affiliate club in the second tier of Serbian football, scores some goals there as well. Um, pressing is really good. He has the ability to free himself from defenders very easily. Um, he, has, uh, he has some flair to his game, which I was thoroughly impressed with. Even when he was playing for the U21s, Red Star U21s, there was a goal that he scored. I think it was in Ireland. I can't believe, I can't remember who they played. But, you know, he had a few step overs and, you know, slotted the goal, uh, slotted the ball into the goalie's um, right hand side. And he was a real, real leader on that team. And, you know, if, if you believe what people are saying, he's going to have a really good career. Um, his uncles were both footballers. One actually played for Red Star, the other played for uh, Partizan Belgrade. Um, his uncle, one of his uncles is the coach at. Can't remember right now. I think Metalis or something like. Or sorry, he's at TS uh, TSC, who's an also up and coming team in in the uh, Serbian league, and yeah, his uncle played for Verona, I believe. So he has those uh, footballing genes. Now, from what we've heard about this transfer is that, and this news is three four days old. The rumors um, said that he was not Lazetic was not going to play for. Uh, AC Milan's B team. So that's like the Primo Vera team, I believe. Uh, so is he going to stay with AC Milan? Is he, which I'll revisit in a second, is he going to stay with AC Milan? Is he going to go on loan to maybe a Serie a B team? Is he going to go on loan maybe to a Serie A team? Look, if he stays with AC Milan and they have a lot of really good strikers, they still have Ibrahimovic there, um, they have Olivier Giroud, um, they have. Uh, Leao, I believe, and Rebic, I think, can play striker as well. If he stays with AC Milan's first team, so to say, I really don't understand the sale of the player when he could easily, he should be playing for Red Star if he is on AC Milan's bench. That's the way I look at this. And I get it's a lot of money. Like, $4 million is a lot for an 18-year-old kid um, to reject. You never know what could happen. Injuries, decline in form... Um, and Red Star has seen this with, with past players, like, for example, Njegos Petrovic and Veliko Nikolic were players who Red Star rejected four or five million euros for just a season, season and a half ago, or a year and a half ago, I should say. And now they're playing that, and those players aren't worth more than, you know, two million euros. So I get the sale, but I still question selling him if he is good enough to sit on AC Milan's bench. What will happen with him? I, I really don't know. Uh, I can guess that he's probably going to be loaned out, probably to a Serie B team. We'll see what happens. I really don't see him staying with AC Milan unless they keep him on the bench for this season. And then once uh, the 2022-23 season starts, you know, they loan him out in, in August to a Serie B or Serie A team, whatever the case may be, or maybe even outside of the country. I'm just using those two examples because it is in Italy and the Figures just use those two examples. Um, again, it's 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 quite a bit of money to pay for for a kid again who hasn't featured much for Red Star. He scored just the one goal. 
um, but he has those intangibles. He you can you can really tell that he has um, the level of skill that can take him to the next level. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Red Star had issues with kind of their center forwards this year. I'm surprised he didn't get more playing time with Red Star because the issue was, you know, the center forwards aren't, just aren't scoring enough. And it felt like everyone had to make up for it. The midfielders, the defenders, you know, the set pieces, uh, set piece goals weren't what they were in the past, like last season. Uh, so it's interesting that, you know, he never really got a chance. In a lot of his games, he pretty much came off the bench. Um, so we'll see what happens with him down the road. Obviously, uh, a wonder kid, a great prospect, great European prospect. I know a lot of people think highly of him who follow uh, the younger players in Europe, you know, from the ages of 16 to like 21, 22. They think highly of him. I hope that this move does work out for him. I think he's just got to stay patient. Um and you know just go with the process if, if you're loaned out don't hold down your head just work hard you know ac milan is your team and you know this is just kind of a stepping stone he's only 18 years old like i said uh, there's a lot of football ahead of him like i also said you know two of his uncles played football at a very high level and i think this is a really good uh purchase for ac milan they also asked pioli about it um after the game against juventus and he said you know what kind of We'll see when he gets here what we're going to do with him. But, you know, if the board uh, decided to buy him, then he he probably has probably has talent, which shows what Pioli thinks of his board. And, yeah, just the best of luck um, uh, to Lazatich this season and in his uh, career. Let me know below how you think in the comments, how you think he'll fit in with AC Milan. Will he stay there? Will he be loaned out? What happens with him uh, in the 2021-22 season?